How's it going? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a really easy way to make a neon sign and make it blink randomly and have a really cool animation. But before that, let me get into today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is Skillshare. Now Skillshare is a really cool online learning platform where you can go from creative fields to even entrepreneurial fields. Now the premium membership gives you access to everything so you can have a lot of fun and just mix and match and find different classes that you can enjoy and learn a lot from. Depending on where you're at in your life, you can go from hobbyist stuff like things like that, or if you're trying to fuel your actual career or just do some really creative stuff and learn something new so you can add to your art, Skillshare has everything on there for you. For example, Tanner Christensen has a really good course on productivity for creatives. So if you wanna get into that, you can go check that out on Skillshare. Also, Skillshare is really inexpensive, unlike a lot of other expensive platforms. This one's only $10 a month. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, in the description, you can hit that link and get two months free of Skillshare and go check it out and have some some fun. All right, so now let's get into the tutorial. We are in Blender 2.81, but that shouldn't matter. All the things really work in 2.8 as well. So the exact same way. So let's go into the text here, and I'm just going to go and center this guy out just like this. All right, so now I'm just going to go and type in N-E-O-N, -E just like that. We have our guy. Now to get those lines, you're going to see a fill mode here in the shape tab of the text. Go to none, and now we have this. Now all you have to do is come back down here to bevel and click depth. And now we have this. We're basically done, but I'm gonna show you how to animate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the material tab, click new and add in emission. And I'm gonna go, we are in cycles here, switch here to Eevee. So now we're in Eevee. I'm gonna go and say, give him sort of a pink look, that really nice 80s style. And I'm gonna bring the black down. All right, so now we have a nice pink look here. But how do you animate it to get that blinky stuff? Now, if you've seen my light bulb, blinking light bulb tutorial, and you'll know exactly how to do this, but for those of you who have not seen the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, I'm, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit F3, click convert to, and convert it to a mesh. So now when you hit tab, we have faces and vertices and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the tilde key and go to the very top. I'm gonna to hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm gonna hit U and click project from view, just like that. So now let's go over here to the UV editing tab and now we have our text. You can see this is what we're working with here in edit mode. Make sure you are in edit mode when you're doing this. So right up here, you're gonna see this little square thing. Click individual origins. So when you scale them down, they scale individually. I'm gonna hit S zero and you're just gonna get these little dots. So now that you have these little dots, let's go back to layout and we have this. Actually, we need to go to the shading tab. So now we're in the shading tab. I'm gonna bring this guy over here, right there. And right in here, I'm gonna add in a mix shader, just like that, mix shader. And I'm gonna add in a principled BSDF. I'm gonna make the color all the way down to black and I'm gonna make the roughness down to zero and plug that into the shader. What we need to do is tell it which parts to go black and which parts to be light. So first off, let's get a color ramp. Go here and let's get a noise texture. Plug that here and plug the factor into the color ramp. And plug the color into the, the mix shader. Now, if you're in Blender 2.81, the Node Wrangler add-on should be installed for you already. And you hit Control T, make sure you're clicked on the noise texture. And if it doesn't work like that, just add in a mapping node and a texture coordinate and plug your UV socket into vector. So now when you have this color ramp, what I like to do is go to constant here where it says linear. And then, so you just get solid texture. And then if you play around with the uh, this right here, you get to play with it. So I'm gonna bring the scale up a little bit and then play with that. And then you can play with the scale and animate things. So let's go right here, play with the scale. And now you have a really cool neon text animation. So say bring it to right, there, say the scale at 27, and you can play with the rotation of the mapping so that it keeps the texture at the same spot. And then you can just play with the rotation of on the mapping node and you get a really cool neon text animation. So say what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring up the timeline here. And just to get it done, hold on. Goodness, I can't click it. Here we go, timeline, and I'm gonna give it 120 frames here. And then here on the rotation, I'm gonna right click, insert keyframe, go to the very end and type in 360 degrees, insert keyframe. That's just so that this loops. And then now we have a blinky 
really fast. I would actually go up to 240 frames just to make the animation nicer, but this is just a concept it out for you guys. And so now we have this really crazy, fast animated blinking neon sign. Now, if you want to know how to animate it, I mean, sorry, export it, go back to the top. I'm going to get my camera here. Control Alt Zero snaps it to view. So now we have this. To render the animation, we'll just go to this printer icon right here, keep it at 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution you would like. I'm going to go over here to FF MPEG video on encoding, go to MP4, and right here on output quality, change it to perceptually lossless, and then of course pick your output where you want to output it, it's very important. I'm just going to output it to my desktop, accept, and you're going to render, render animation, and you're going to get a really cool neon animation. So there you go. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this neon text animation tutorial, and thanks for watching.